Hello everyone, welcome back. Now we are going to show you a new ADC that is ADS Triple One Four. And to gain more knowledge about this ADC, let's proceed to controleverything.com. And here we have to search on for this ADC that is ADS Triple One Four. And let's see what we got here. And here we are with this ADC, and it's a 16-bit two-channel precision analog to digital converter. And there is a long list of features which is onto the screen and you can also purchase this ADC right from here. Furthermore, I will be interfacing the ADC that is ADS triple one four with uh, Beagle Moon Black and the software platform will be a C language code and let's go to the source tab and here we are with the C code sample. You can download the C code sample right from this website as a zip file like here. And also you can get the code from github.com and the repository there is controlled everything community. Now let's have a look over the hardware connections we need to put up together and let's see how we do that. Well, for the hardware connection setup, the first thing we require is the bigger bone black which you are able to see on my screen. And this here is an I2C sheet for the bigger bone black. Now this is available on the website controleverything.com and the real reason we are using this shield is to make connections easier with other I2C devices. So for that, what we require is to gently place this I2C shield over the Beagle Moon Black and make a connection just like that. For the power up setup, we require two things. The first is a mini USB cable just like this and gently insert it over here. It is very useful to power up the Beagle Moon Black. Now to power up the I2C shield, we require a 5 volt adapter which you are able to see on my screen and gently insert it over here. Now for an option for the internet connection, there are two mediums. The first is an Ethernet cable or LAN cable and the second is this, a wireless nano USB adapter. Now we need our ADC analog to digital converter that is ADS1114 and this here is a connecting cable. Now make sure while making the connection among the cable and the ADC, the ground wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the ADC and similarly we have to follow this rule for the ground terminal of the I2C sheet. Now we are done with all the concerned connections for the hardware. Now let's have a look over the code. Well, for the interfacing section part, we have to log in to github.com and then we have to search on for the repository that is control everything community. Log in here and we have the ADC that is ADS1114. And we have the C code. But before that, let's have a look over the instructions part. As you notice, we have to set up your beagle bone black on to the device as this device and this link beagleboard.org is the link from where all the installation steps procedures had to be carefully followed and we will have the installation good and then get back to the instructions part we have to download the code onto the beagleboard black and this command will compile the c code and this will build or run the c code note it down carefully as we will use them later in the working part and now get back to the c code as you notice this a C code with .c extension file and first thing you notice in the code that we have included some of the header files here and then in the void main function we have a integer file as you can so notice and we have to check whether the I2C bus is going to open or not and we have to check after that uh, the I2C device address that will be zero exporting. Now in the writing section part as you notice we are going to select a configuration register that will be 0x01 and we are checking for the positive end that will be AIN0 and negative end that will be AIN1 voltage reference range will be plus minus 2.048 volt continuous conversion mode 120 SPS which comprises of 0x84, 0x83, 16 bit data we are going to send it and the command is here as you notice then we have a sleep function of 1 second delay and after that we are going to read two bytes of the data from the register that is 0x00 and as you notice this here is the command for that and after that we have the conversion of the data takes place which will have the consequences of the instructions we have just followed from the data sheet of ADS1114. At the very end we have the output data onto the screen which is exactly the digital value of analog input. So this is how the sensor is. The uh, ADC code is for the C language for the Beagle Bone Black. Now what do we require next is to have a look upon the working of this code. Now let's have a look over the practicality of this code and the ADC and for that 
we have to copy the entire code as you are able to see on my screen and we have to open up the terminal for the bigger moon black and here we have to create a new file as you can see on my screen and it's a dot c file and after that we have to paste the entire code here and then we have to save it now for the compilation this is the command as you can see on my screen and it's a dot c file and the full command is here and here we go the code is compiled successfully now to build our code this is the command as you can see on my screen and let's see what we got here and we have the digital value of analog input it's a very high value and a random value and it's changing which means there is nothing connected across the two ends of the terminal but instead when I try to connect a AA battery of 1.5 standard voltage we can have the value which I will show you and it's a standard value and it's a digital value of analog input it's uh, almost constant because there is nothing much changing across the terminal because it is connected to a standard cell voltage now this means the sensor the ADC is responding well and now let's have a look over some of the applications and features of this ADC the ADS triple one four is the precision analog to digital converter with 16 bit of resolution the ADS triple one four featured an onboard reference and oscillator data are transferred via an I2C compatible serial interface four I2C slave addresses can be selected the ADC triple one four operate from a single power supply ranging from 2.0 volt to 5.5 volt the concerned applications regarding this ADC due to high accuracy analog to digital conversions are portable instrumentation, consumer goods, battery monitoring, temperature measurement and a lot more to mention. Well, you can have this sensor and you can purchase it from controleverything.com and you can get the code from resource tab. From this site, you can download the code as required. Also, you can get the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end, I would like to make it clear that if you have any doubt regarding any part of this sensor or video, you can have your queries on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on the community page on this website. For articles and blogs, you can have a look over on instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can have a look over our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and had a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.